Toward the end of the Great Depression, in the cuffs of Idaho, there was a dusty little produce stand by the side of a country road, where a farmer stacked potatoes while his wife was shelling peas. Sunshine burned a halo round the shade beneath the trees. A skinny young boy appeared in ragged shorts and shoes. His mama, in her weakness, had sent him out to find some food. He was staring at the carrots, hungry to the bone. Farmer knelt and asked him if he'd like to take some home. The boy said, "Mama's got no money," and his hope began to fade. Farmer scratched his head and asked him if he had something to trade. Well, all I got's this marble. It's as deep blue as the sea. Well, that's a beauty," said the farmer. "But it's a red one that I need." Well, the farmer pinched his lip and he said, "I tell you what I'll do. You take this sack of carrots home. You take your marble too. But if you find a red one, boy, don't let it leave your hand. Bring it to me next time you come by my produce stand. You see that farmer." Love to barter with the poor boys in the town. He wouldn't keep their marbles. He'd just spin the spheres around, and then he'd send 'em home with vegetables and another color quest. And in this way, he tendered that with which he had been blessed. Idahoan men grew from those ragged little boys. Their lives were full of family. Their families were full of joy. So, with a pocket full of marbles, they set all else aside to pay their final tribute on the day the farmer died. Candles flickered in a circle round his head. The people wept and whispered as the cloud of flowers spread. And some remembered summers and a dusty produce stand. But those boys recalled an angel with a marble in his hand. Farmer's life is meager, and after years of sweat and toil, his vast accumulation is just the harvest of the soil. And the smile he'd take to heaven, 'cause he knew that he'd been blessed with gifts of shiny glass beneath the hands upon his chest. Mm -hmm. 